welcome back to Little Mama's Schoolhouse. So today I wanted to walk through my carts and just show how I organize our carts. We have two of them, if you can kind of see them. And so I will just kind of go through it and show what I keep on these. I will say that we have used the bins, we have tried. Um, my kids just, they weren't fans. And so we are definitely team cart. But I do have these bins and I have figured out actually another way of using these. So I will be sharing that in a different video once I kind of get these more set up, but I do have plans for these bins. Um, but let's go ahead and let's get started with my carts. So here is the first cart. You can see that I can fit four magazine holders across the top. And so each of my kids, um, right now my second grader and then my first grader, they each have two compartments. So the first one, I just kind of keep their like daily work books, you know, um, so language arts, handwriting, um, their math calendar, uh, the place value chart math book in there. In the second compartment, I keep uh, more of their elective type things. So I just put some graphing paper in there. She has worldly wise, um, tracing paper, her magazines for her home, uh, design class, typing, um, the drafting book and then I have a whiteboard in here with a eraser that we keep in this one. So then for my first grader, again, this is for her main subject. So she has handwriting, language arts, and her math. And then we just kind of keep these in there as well. Um, this is her for her nature study. So I just kind of keep her nature study notebooks in that one. Down below is where I keep, um, so their math. So I was um, purchasing the course books and then I was just making copies of the worksheets so that way I could kind of use them for more than one child. Anyway, so that's for kindergarten. But these are their binders. And so I will kind of show these. So this is some worksheets that they will do. And I just keep those in here. And then again, I just pull out the worksheet at the end of the lesson and it's worked really well for us. Okay, so then in this one, I have a light table. They keep their sketchbooks in here. Um, these were awesome. I found these at Target for $5 at the beginning of the school year, and they're hardback um, books, so they were really nice. And then we got another whiteboard, and then their bird watching notebooks down below. But this is the first cart that I keep in the homeschool room area. Okay, so here is our second art cart. You can see the puppies made their way in here. Um, again, I was able to fit four magazine holders across the top. And I just keep their morning menus in here. I will go through these at a later time. Um, I redid them for the school year and they're still just not working how I wanted them to. So I have to revamp those. Um, nature Poetry a read aloud book, religious book, um, some arts and crafts stuff. Oh, this is so cute. Little poetry, party book, watercolor paper, uh, tree drawing, and then that watercoloring book in that one. The next one is for my pre-K daughter. And so she keeps her morning menu in there. Um, her workbook, her maze book. She has her bird watching book in there. Her handwriting and then just the things like the games and stuff that go with the pre-k and then those little flip books go in her little compartment so then we have science and that one I keep our nature notebook um, our geology unit some of those additional resources we use and then some of the books that I want to make sure that we go through while we're doing that unit um, and then in the social studies um, and again, these get changed up as our units change. And so right now we are doing the 50 states. So they're working through those. I just threw these books in there. Um, and again, someone put their level K reader in that one. Should have gone through this before. That's okay. And then I have their little geography books in there. I also have the rocks and mineral kit that I keep up here. And then I have these fake coins that I got from Target Dollar Spot years ago um, that they use for pre-K, preschool, all of that stuff. And then even in the beginning math, they go through those. Down here on the second um, level, 
So I keep the color pencils there. They've been wanting to do the pumpkin craft, so they cut all the yarn, um, so that is ready to go. Um, these are kind of stuff that I'm okay with them just kind of getting into to play with. So these are stamps, clay, buttons. Again, you use this for like the pre-K and the primer and then empty little paint trays um, if they want to paint. And then in the back, I kind of keep the glue. So we have like our tacky glue, Elmer's glue, glue sticks, there's a pen, all of that there. Down below, so this is where we keep um, even more supplies um, that they can just get into whenever. So these are gel pens. Um, I didn't realize how much my kids would love gel pens, but this has been a really awesome kit. Sorry, probably made you all sick from that. But anyways, they love these gel pens. Um, and then we have just our watercolors there um construction paper some little crafts that i mean to i keep meaning to do these with them so i just kind of suck those in there i keep a pencil holder usually we keep more pencils in here but apparently they've all gone missing we have some nicer um colored pencils for projects um i picked this up and so i just th threw this under um so that way we would get to it at some point um i have my pastels some sketching pencils, watercoloring pencils, more pastels, and then a big thing of watercolor pencils. We love the watercolor pencils. They have been awesome. Um, they can just make, it just helps them, I feel like, um, have better control as they are learning about watercolors. Anyways, and we haven't opened these yet, so I haven't tried those yet, but these came recommended. Um, I'm excited to try those. But anyways, so that is the second cart that we have. So those are my homeschool carts. Um, I purchased mine from Ikea. I love the Ikea ones. I feel like they are a little bit higher quality than the ones that I've seen at other places. Um, but if you can't um, get one from Ikea, I think the other ones would just do just fine. Anyways, um, I just want to thank you for coming along today and um, 